Thank you guys for tuning in to another segment on the sit down with Malik Wright. On this segment, I'll be discussing with my guy Daniel why the Jets are weirdly committed to Zach Wilson. Um, Daniel, I'll be honest with you, man. I'm completely baffled by it. Zach Wilson has shown no growth as the quarterback for the Jets. Remember, they brought Aaron Rodgers in because Zach Wilson was proven to not be the guy. It almost reminds me of that old skit John Cena did a couple years ago with Roman Reigns where he says, I'm here because you can't do your job. And honestly, that's the exact same thing Aaron Ro- that happened with Aaron Rodgers, right? Remember, it was that whole weird thing was how Zach Wilson would respond to the Jets acquiring a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. But it doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't really matter because uh, Zach Wilson said, it's my job to give this guy's you know, life, make this guy's life hell each and every single practice. Um, you're doing anything but that. The, the Jets players can't wait for Aaron Rodgers in next season to begin because you have shown zero promise. You're probably going to be the reason why this coaching staff is out the door. Maybe they'll get another opportunity. I certainly would give them an opportunity, but just to be honest with you, Zach Wilson's horrible. He's awful. He's bad. And it sucks because I think if Zach Wilson was paired from the start with a true offensive-minded coach, right, I think he could have had success. You pair Zach Wilson up with a guy like Brian Dable, maybe he has success. But that's neither here nor there. This isn't a uh, this isn't like a wishing well that we go back and we say, you know what, we wish Zach Wilson would have ended up on this team. Right now, what I'm saying is, the Jets know what they had in Zach Wilson. They knew what they had in Zach Wilson before they acquired Aaron Rodgers, which is why they went out and acquired Aaron Rodgers. They knew what they had in Zach Wilson by the tenth practice that this guy had. They knew what they had. So I understand there aren't a lot of quarterbacks to pick from on the free agency pool. You got Colin Kaepernick begging for a job, right? You got Matt Ryan who says he's not interested. You got other quarterbacks. Maybe Phillip Rivers wants to give it a go again. I have no idea. But right now what this tells me is this Jets football team was prepared to, you know, compete at the very least. I didn't see this big jump that everybody else saw, um, but I did see this team being competitive. This defense's talented is go- talent is going to waste. The offense and Garrett Wilson, I feel so bad for the fantasy owners that own Garrett Wilson in fantasy, right? Here. right? Because right here. here's a guy that is being held back due to poor quarterback play. He's got to give pep talks to his quarterback yeah. each and every single time they're on the sideline. It almost reminds me of people that are not motivated to do anything in life, and then they go to, see, uh, you know, Gary V speak or, yeah. you know, Grant Cardone speak or somebody else. And they're, they're hoping or, or Jordan Belfort. And they're like, hey, you know, if I go watch this guy speak, then maybe I'll be motivated. But no, you find yourself at this convention, a stupid convention, each and every single uh, like once every three months. This feels like the exact same thing with a guy like Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson has shown no growth. He's shown no progress. He's got to get pep talks on the sideline. So his confidence isn't defeated. Jets. Do yourselves a favor. If it's not the Jets brass, the head coach, somebody in the Jets organization needs to go out there and say, we need to try to salvage our season. It's too early on to just throw in the white towel. But guess what? The season's getting longer. The season's getting longer. It's now coming into week four. And you're going to be committed to a quarterback like Zach Wilson for what? What has he shown you? What I would recommend is maybe placing a football, a a call to the uh, commanders and say, hey, what do you want for a guy like Jacoby Brissett? Yeah. Jacoby Brissett is a guy that has shown at the very least he can go in there and keep a team afloat. Hell, Andy Dalton didn't even look too bad. Andy Dalton could do better than what Zach Wilson is doing right now. But my thing is, do not throw in the towel on your season. And what you're doing right now by not going out there and trying to try every avenue to you know, uh, upgrade the quarterback position is you're pretty much saying we're stuck in the mud. Daniel, what say you? So... Obviously, you know, the whole Zach Wilson thing, they made the move, right, to get Aaron Rodgers. They knew what they had. So what are you guys doing this year, right? There's a problem. It's clear Zach Wilson's the problem. I think that, you know, the Garrett Wilson thing is, it's just clear that Zach Wilson's not playing good. And that can be attributed to the offensive line. I think the Jets organization screwed up with the Jets offensive line. I think with or without Aaron Rodgers, they were still going to be screwed over this year. Brees Hall, 12 rushes for 20-something yards. That's not going to help your quarterback out. So what's the solution, right? You're not just supposed to throw in the white flag. And I agree with you. Go out and get a guy like Jacoby Brissett. Call the Atlanta Falcons for a guy like Taylor Heineke. These guys could do a better job at, you know, keeping your team afloat because the way you look at it is you want Zach Wilson. You're not building around him respectfully. You brought Aaron Rodgers to compete for a championship. Now you made the move to not build around Zach Wilson because you brought Aaron Rodgers in. 
So if you're not building long-term success this year, you just want sustainability. You want, you know, a defense first team, a run first team. You got Dalvin Cook, you got Brees Hall. Rely on your defense that's been elite so far this year. They've been damn good. The one game they won was because of their defense. Rely on your defense, trade for another quarterback, even like a Mike White. I don't know why they let him go. Mike White looked good with the Dolphins. So I'm looking at, you know, the Jets straight in the face right now. I'm saying there's two things that I want you to take away. One, build the offensive line this year because if you think Aaron Rodgers is going to come in next year and you guys are going to win the Super Bowl without fixing the offensive line, build it. Dwayne Brown, is is that who you rely on? Mekhi right. Becton? So that that's what I would say because it's clear right now Zach Wilson doesn't have the team behind him and this season is going to continue to go down in the dumps if you don't make a trade. Right. Another and if I'm Robert Sala, right, Daniel, now I'm looking at you because I want to have yeah. this conversation with you. If I'm Robert yeah. Sala, of course the Jets brass isn't blaming you for Aaron Rodgers' injury, but at some point, yeah. if you see the season going downhill, you're going to lose the confidence from this roster, from the from from the rest of this for your from your coaching yeah. staff, possibly. You know damn well Zach Wilson does not give you the best shot to win, and it sucks. And let me tell you why I'm being so hard on the Jets brass because they should have won that game against the Patriots. The Patriots gave them every opportunity to come back. They said, hey, Zach, come back. Come back, come back, come back. And Zach Wilson couldn't do it. Couldn't push the ball down the field. Had the opportunity, got in the red zone. Couldn't do it. Yep. So if that doesn't tell you he's not the guy, I don't know what does. But it's crazy. We were talking about the Jets potentially, not me, because I always had the Bills winning the division this year. Yeah. But people were talking about the Jets winning the division. It was a foregone conclusion. The Jets would be in the playoffs this year. Well, guess yeah. what? Now you're talking about the Jets being the team, being the worst team in the AFC East. Yeah. And it shouldn't be that way. It should not be that way with that standout defense. So, again, if I'm the Jets brass, I'm doing everything in my power to try and upgrade the quarterback position. Right now, there are some options out there for you, probably not via free agency. Obviously, people are going to throw out Carson Wentz, but I understand why nobody yeah. wants Carson Wentz. The guy is a, a pick machine. You want reliable. You want reliability, right? You, you, want, you, yeah. want, you want someone who is reliable and has shown that they could can do it. And I think that there are a couple of options that make sense for you. I really, really do. I, I and again, I'm just gonna name a few because I know people in the comment section are probably gonna be like, "Who, who, 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 yeah, yeah. who do you want us to go out there?" I'll name a couple right now. Jacoby Brissett is at the top of my list. Andy Dalton is another person that is on my list. Tyrod Taylor is a guy that I'm potentially potentially looking at. I'm calling up the Ravens. I'm saying, "Hey, what do you? What about Snoop Hudley? Yeah. Let's see what he could do for us potentially." The point I'm trying to make is there are options. You can call the Steelers. Steelers got Mason Rudolph. The Steelers got Mitch um, Trubisky. Mitchell Trubisky. You can try to place phone calls to try to see if you can get more uh, from the quarterback position. Now, these guys aren't going to – there's nobody that's going to acquire that are going to be just massively massive upgrades. But I think you can at least take a shot. I think you can at the very least take a shot and see what you could potentially, you know, get. Maybe – when Anthony Richardson, maybe you call the Colts. You say, "What do you want for Gardner Minshew?" I, I don't know. Just try to do something because Zach Wilson isn't the answer. Yeah, and the final thing I'll say is, you just look at it. This season is going to go exactly how last year went, and you've got to look at yourself. If you're the organization, are you going to be a team where you have a problem and you know your problem is Aaron Rodgers, and you're just going to wait a full calendar year and hopefully next year Aaron Rodgers healthy and everything changes, or are you going to try to make some changes now? Think about it. You've got 12 weeks left in the football season. You've got 12 weeks. That's three months. Can you be okay by looking at yourself and saying, all right, we're just going to roll out Zach Wilson and with this bad offensive line, we'll see what happens. I would do everything in my power. Worst thing is you're competitive. Give the team confidence. Sauce Gardner is not going to be happy. Garrett Wilson's not going to be happy with 12 more weeks of this. That's all I'll say. Absolutely. Matter of fact, you can call up another guy I was thinking about. Call up Jared Stidham. Yeah. Call up the Broncos for Jared Stidham mm -hmm. and see what's up there because it's clearly Russ's say, that team. I don't know what's going on with them, right? But you can make a phone call. Somebody actually said something interesting. They said the the Vikings are zero in three now. Yeah, what stop you from placing a phone call to Kirk Cousins? It gets hairy there. It but, does. But, but it I does. see. I see what you're saying. A one year I, rental. Yeah, it, it makes sense. I mean, if you're talking about a team that's trying to compete for championship, yeah. and Robert Sala is not in this position where he can wait to see what happens, right? This is where you you have to try to go out there and do things to try to salvage your season. I don't know yeah. what that looks like. So let us know in the comment section what you guys think. What should the Jets do? Are we being too harsh on the Jets? Or do you guys think the Jets should try to go out there and acquire a quarterback to help save their football season? I'm really curious to hear what you guys say. If you like more video content like this, give this video a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, 
and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss when we go live from the First Star Logistics Studio.